Jean Baptiste Trailhard, the 3rd of January 1742 to the 1st of December 1810, was an important French statesman of the revolutionary period. He passed through the troubled times of the Republic and Empire with great political savvy, playing a decisive role at important times. Without achieving the notoriety of some of his more famous revolutionary colleagues, he held a number of key positions: President of the National Constituent Assembly, the 20th of July to the 1st of August 1790; President of the National Convention, the 27th of December 1792 to the 10th of January 1793, coinciding with the trial of Louis XVI; three-time member of the Committee of Public Safety, the 7th of April 1793 to the 12th of June 1793; the 31st of July 1794 to the 5th of November 1794, the 4th of May 1795 to the 2nd of August 1795, Chairman of the Council of 500, member of the French Directory. Eugene Marbeau describes Jean Baptiste Trailhard as a man honest and right, who is content to do his duty in the situation, but who does not seek to dominate events. He is buried at the Pantheon. Biography Born in brive la gaillard Carrezé, to a father who was a lawyer at the Presidial and Mère Perpetual of Brive. Jean-Baptiste was a student at the Collège des Doctrinaires now the Hôtel de Ville at Brive, where he received an education balancing the requirements of science and faith. After studies in law, Jean-Baptiste Trailhard settled in Paris and became, in 1761, a lawyer at the Parlement. He was a protégé of Turgot, future controller general of finances, the 24th of August 1774 to the 12th of May 1776 to Louis the 16th. Trailhard was retained to care for judicial affairs of the Condé family. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> French Revolution. Trailhard was elected deputy by the Third Estate of Paris to the Estates General of 1789, then to the National Constituent Assembly. His most important early role was in the Comité Ecclesiastique Ecclesiastical Committee, where he took the lead in promoting the civil constitution of the clergy, a major reorganization of the Roman Catholic Church including the suppression of its monasteries and the nationalization of its property. He served one term as president of the National Constituent Assembly, the 20th of July to the 1st of August 1790. Ineligible, like all the members of the Constituent Assembly, for the Legislative Assembly, he became president of the Criminal Tribunal of Paris, but was judged as lacking of firmness. Elected to the National Convention by the Department of Seine et Oise, Trailhard was president, the 27th of December 1792 to the 10th of January 1794 of the National Convention, and in this capacity served as first First magistrate during a part of the trial of Louis XVI, in which he voted for death without reprieve, he was an inaugural member of the Committee of Public Safety, the 7th of April 1793 to the 12th of June 1793, but was excluded by the Montagnard. He is imprisoned, but will survive the reign of terror. On the 31st of July 1794, after nine Thermidor Year II, the 27th of July 1794, he returned to the committee until the 5th of November 1794. He would serve again from 4 May to 2 August 1795. Trailhard served on three missions. The 17th of June to 7 August 1793, to Gironde and Lot et Garonne, with fellow deputy Mathieu. The 22nd of September to 25 November 1793, to Marly Saint-Etoise, today Evelines, with August and Enlart. The 30th of December 1794 to the 4th of April 1795 to Bec Gironde, and again the lot at Gironde. Topic: <inaudible> Directory. Chairman of the Council of 500 in the month of Nevos, year IV, the 22nd of December 1795 to the 23rd of January 1796. In his speech from 1 Pluvios Year IV, the 21st of January 1796, he delivered a speech on the third anniversary of the execution of Louis XVI, in which he execrated monarchy. 
In 1795, he arranged the exchange of the daughter of Louis XVI, Marie Therese of France, future Duchess of Angoulême, who was a prisoner of the Republic since autumn 1792, for the commissioners to armies betrayed by the General Dumouriez and turned over to the Austrians in spring 1793. After refusing an appointment as ambassador to Naples in 1796, he served as a judge of the Court of Cassation, the 6th of September to the 23rd of October 1797, before the Directory of France appointed him Minister Plenipotentiary at the Congress of Rastatt in December 1797. Trailhard became one of five directors, the chief executive body of France, the 15th of May 1798, 26 Florial Year V, in replacement of François de Neufchâteau. He chaired the Directory the 24th of August to the 27th of November 1798. On the 17th of June 1799, his election as a member of the Executive Board is invalidated by a resolution of the Council of Ancients on the grounds of ineligibility due to an irregularity in the election. He is succeeded by Louis Jérôme Goyer. Topic: <laughs> Consulate and Empire. After the coup of 18 Brumaire, the 10th of November 1799, during the consulate, he was appointed on the 4th of April 1800 vice president of the Court of Appeal of the Department of the Seine and became its president on the 1st of January 1802. He chaired the legislative section of the Council of State in 1802 and participated in the drafting of the French Civil Code, the Criminal Code and the Code of Commerce in close collaboration with Tranché and Portalis. He also served as a senator. He collected such honours as being named Grand Officer of the Legion of Honour 14 June 1804, and Comte de l'Empire 24 April 1808. On 30 March 1809 he is named to the Council of State, a position he held until his death. As Officer of the Empire, he is buried at the Pantheon 5 December 1810. Under the Directory, he entered the Council of 500, of which he was president during the month of Nevos, year IV, and was a member of the Court of Cassation, as well plenipotentiary at the Second Congress of Rastatt, December 1797. Trailhard became a director in the year V. 